Okay, good morning, or good evening, I mean, welcome to... Family Math number 106. Family Math number 106. So today we're going to study something really fun called the Chaos Game. Um, and it's a, it's a neat little thing that's really easy to study on a computer. And I made it on uh, Khan Academy's programming site, so I'll, um, I'll link to that on my blog post. So anyone look, listening to this should be able to find this program and play with it if they want. So what the Chaos Game is, I'll go back up to the top. First you draw a triangle. Okay, and so you can see here I've made the three points of the triangle, uh, 200 comma 0. If you remember, and, and you might not know, up at the top corner is 0, 0, mm -hmm. and x goes across this way to 400, and y goes down to 400. So 200 comma 0 says go over 200 and down 0. Yeah. The next one says x equals 0, so how far do I go over in the x direction? You, you, you don't zero. go over. Okay, and then I, down to 400. So down to 400, so that's mm -hmm. here. Yeah. And then the last one's 400, 400. But I just, we can make any triangle we want. We just pick the x and y coordinates. Yeah. Then I draw the triangle. Yeah. And then what we're going to do is, here's how the game works. You pick any, any starting point you want. So in this one I picked x equals 200, y equals 200, just to start right here in the middle of the screen. Yeah. Okay, but you can pick anything you want. You Actually, you, give, me, give me a number. Give me a point you want to start at. Mm, 100, 300. Okay. 100 comma 300. So we'll start there. So we'll get a different set of dots here. Okay, I made the dots have a radius of 2, so they're a little bit easier to see. And then what we do, and this is all we do, and I've made 10 iterations. You can see 10 dots on the screen. Yep. All we do is I draw the dots. That's what ellipse x, y, radius, radius means. Yep. Then I take a random number between 0 and 6. Okay, just uh -huh. pick a random number. If that random number is between 0 and 2, Wherever dot I'm at, I go halfway to the first point, first vertex. Um, if it's between 2 and 4, I go halfway to the, this vertex. And if it's, be, if it's between 4 and 6, I go halfway to this vertex. So it's basically like rolling a dice. And if I get 1 or 2, I go halfway to the first vertex. Two or, or 3 or 4, I go halfway to the, this vertex. 5 or 6, I go halfway to this vertex. Got it? All right. Make sense? Yeah. Okay, and then we just kind of loop around, and I get this picture. Yeah. Is that interesting? Yeah, it's really uh, cool. Right, you said, hmm, not, not too interesting? Mm, it just looks like a bunch of dots. It does just look like a bunch of dots. Maybe I should do more instead of 10 iterations. You think I should do 100 maybe? Yeah, maybe that'll look more interesting. Does that look more interesting? Yeah. Kind of look, maybe there's some patterns in the dots. You see any patterns in those dots? Uh, I don't think, I don't no. really see just, any. It looks totally random. Yeah, it does kind of look random. Hmm. Huh, maybe this wasn't as interesting as I thought. Have any ideas? Mm, not really. No. Nope. Should we try just maybe some more iterations? Yeah, maybe a thousand iterations. Mm, let's, let's do 10,000. Okay. Okay. And if it's not cool, then we'll just go do something else, okay? Right. So 10,000. So how, how many zeros do we got to add? That's four. So I've two. What? So <gasps> Pinsky's triangle? <laughs> what? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> what? Is that interesting? Where yeah. did that come from? Is that interesting? Yeah, yeah. That, that's interesting. <laughs> what happens if we go to a million? Well, I don't think it can handle it. So, oh, man. But, but uh, even, even in, like at 100 dots, you can't see it. At 1,000 dots, you sort of start to be able to see it. Yeah. Here now, but maybe, maybe, maybe we should change one of the starting vertexes. Yeah. Okay. So let's make it a funny shaped triangle. Maybe, maybe it will start at 0, 0. Oh wait, you still get Serpinski's right. triangle. But it's kind of like... Maybe we should pick a different starting point. Maybe it was just luck. Yeah, maybe it was just luck. Would it pick, a, pick a point to start at other than 100, 300. Let's do 3... 390. 390. Now the cool thing about that is that's not even in the triangle, right? Yeah. yeah. To start, 390. So now we're starting outside the triangle. You can, you can see, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, there's a few extra dots. Yeah. But we got the same picture, basically, mm. except for like a, a couple extra little dots. Yeah. yeah. Huh. That's weird. Can you believe that? Yeah. Was that a pretty good surprise? Yeah. yeah, that was really good. Cool. So I like this. This is, a, this is an example of some interesting computer math. And you can see from my little program here, it's not very hard, right? It's no. only like... You, but you just need a computer to iterate 10,000 times. Like if we tried to do this by ourselves on the chalkboard. But I think this I think this was invented real early on, like in like in ni like nineteen nineteen, I think. So cool. someone did this by hand. <laughs> wow. wow. Ouch. <laughs> okay. High five guys up on the screen. Pretty fun, right? Yeah. yeah. Alright, good job today.